Marjorie Taylor Greene was speaking at a fundraising event in Alabama when she decided to encourage people at this no press allowed event to maybe use violence to respond to anyone working in the government who encourages them to get vaccinated. Let's watch. And one more thing on that, you lucky people here in Alabama might get a knock on your door because I hear Alabama might be one of the most unvaccinated states in the nation. <laughs> well, Joe Biden wants to come talk to you guys. <laughs> He's going to be sending one of his police state friends uh, to your front door to knock on the door, take down your name, your address, your family members' names, your phone numbers, your cell phone numbers, probably ask for your social security number and whether you've taken the vaccine or not. Yeah, well, what they don't know is in the South, we all love our Second Amendment rights. And we're not real big on strangers showing up on our front door, are we? They might not like the welcome they get. Now, there was no press allowed, but that video was recorded by someone in the audience who then sent it to David Pakman, and uh, he shared it online. And. Uh, I guess I can kind of understand why they didn't want press there. Uh, they wanted to provide a forum for Marjorie Taylor Greene to spew her incredibly irresponsible and dangerous, re uh, dangerous rhetoric to the people who paid literally $100 each just to be there to watch her speak. Okay, so uh, a couple of very disturbing things. Now, first of all, uh, Alabama leads the country in unvaccinated people. <laughs> USA, yeah. USA. Let's die USA. quicker. Let's die quicker. Okay, um, we told you in June there was over 10,000 people who died because they were not vaccinated. Flat, flat out, period. Uh, the rate of death for people who are vaccinated if they uh, get uh, coronavirus anyway, which happens from time to time, is 0.01%. Almost everyone dying is unvaccinated. So um, everybody who, almost everybody who dies in Alabama now is unvaccinated. So those, I'm not supposed to call them idiots. Okay, those less than intelligent folks in the audience who are like, okay, I'm sorry. What? Okay, but what do you want me to do? What do you want me to do? Like you're you're in a literal death cult. Am I supposed to call you intelligent? Okay. Anyways, then it gets way worse. She says the she said police state, and she said if they come to your door, Second Amendment rights. Okay. Is that how well, you greet cops if they show up to your door? No, but she's literally encouraging them to shoot cops. I think shooting cops is a little bit worse than defunding them. But I'm not sure I'm gonna have to check, right? And so she said, what does Second Amendment rights mean? We all know what it means. It doesn't mean, oh, I'm gonna go hunt vermin, right? It's not for hunting. And in fact, other Republicans have said, "Oh, I don't mean for hunting. I mean Second Amendment rights against political tyranny." So you have a you're saying, "Grab your gun and get ready to use it against the police state if any police come to your door." You're telling people to shoot cops. And everybody's like, "Oh, it's okay. It's a Republican." So a Republican telling people to murder cops is like awesome. Second Amendment rights. Oh, when a liberal says, "Hey, maybe we should give some portion of the funding to mental health workers who would be more appropriate in some circles. Oh, you hate cops. Maybe cops shouldn't shoot someone in the back if they're not armed. Oh, you hate cops. And then a Republican comes and goes, grab your guns and get ready to shoot cops that show up at your door. And they're like, yeah, we love cops. Well, what? What? You're, you're calling for their murder. Look, I don't know how large that audience was, but if I were an Alabaman, even if I were a Republican Alabaman, I would be insanely insulted by the picture that Marjorie Taylor Greene and politicians like her are painting regarding the people of Alabama, right? Because what she's doing there is illustrating them as these like hyper paranoid, vicious people who have their guns ready the second someone knocks on their door, right? Well, like, kind of is I mean, Republican I want Alabama. Maybe I'm being naive, but I want to believe that even with all of the disagreements that I might have with Republicans in Alabama, that most of them are not that crazy. And most of them are not gonna have their guns ready the second someone knocks on their door. But who knows? I mean, that's obviously me speculating. We don't have to get into a long discussion about that. I just, I just wonder if the entirety of the Republican electorate is cool with people like Marjorie Taylor Greene painting this picture of them.
that they're like these paranoid crazy people. No, I, I actually, yeah, I don't, we don't need to get derailed with a debate about that. But I think they are cool with it. They're like, yes, we are that maniacal and stupid. All right, I, I can't help it. Uh, all right, uh, Tradora wrote in on in our member section. Yeah, what happened to Blue Lives Matter? But I love this one. Just be anti-racist wrote in. Breaking news. If the government comes to my door, they already know my name, my address, and hello, they already know my social security number. Yeah, how the hell did they come to your door if they don't know your address? Okay, it doesn't make any sense. By the way, the people most likely to come from the government to your door at some point is the census, right? So this poor person coming to, and, and they're gonna ask you for how many people live in the house, etc. Because that's their job in the census. Because if you don't answer them, Alabama, for example, would lose more representatives because they think less people live in Alabama because you didn't answer the census. But these idiots are Marjorie and Taylor Greene and the rest are coming out and going, oh, no, no, if somebody shows up from the government, grab your gun and potentially murder them. So that's the current state of the Republican Party. You should make no excuses for them. They are, they are genuinely that monstrous. So uh, moving over to the coronavirus part of the story, because unfortunately, uh, coronavirus happens to be a really big problem in states like Alabama. And the number of people who are vaccinated in Alabama is far less than the uh, national average. So new cases of hospitalizations continue to climb across Alabama. There were 1,694 hospitalized with COVID-19 in Alabama on Tuesday. And that's a 73% increase in one week and a 206% increase, increase compared to two weeks ago. The state reported 3,442 new cases in the latest data updated on Wednesday, bringing the seven day average of newly reported cases to 2,635, a 140% increase from just two weeks ago. Now remember, if everybody tries, anybody tries to help those sick people, murder them. Um, the situation is even worse if you look at Mobile, Alabama, uh, where the virus is uh, more transmittable. Uh, transmissible Delta variant has ravenously fed on 69% of adults who have so far ducked vaccinations. On July 26th, the county of just over 400,000 people added another 499 cases to its tally. Most of the most with the Delta strain, most all unvaccinated. The next day was another 553 cases, then 472 the day after that. And when you look at vaccination rates, they're they're far lower in Alabama. In fact, Alabama is tied with Mississippi well, in course, having always always tied at the bottom run by Republicans right into the goddamn ground. In having the lowest percentage of fully COVID-19 vaccinated residents in the nation, the unvaccinated accounted for 97% of recently hospitalized COVID-19 patients in Alabama. Of the 2,379 COVID-19 deaths confirmed in Alabama between January 19th and June 30th, unvaccinated individuals accounted for 99% according to the Alabama Department of Public Health. So again, we hear cases of breakthrough infections among those who are vaccinated, but the vaccine works the way that it's supposed to. It prevents people from getting incredibly sick. It prevents people from getting hospitalized. It prevents people from dying. That's why it's important to get vaccinated. Or you could die just to own the libs and then you'll feel great about it. Either way, I love our members. That's why we do the show together, tyt.com slash join to become a member and actually be part of the show. So last one is Carlson's allying mother Tucker wrote in, so much for Southern hospitality, <laughs> indeed. Yeah. Oh, sweet home Alabama. <laughs> is it? <laughs> right. Thanks for watching the Young Turks, really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR, so those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all of that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.